beautiful tropical forested location in this island. Seize the dawn in banishing the ignorance of a nation. A national university of international standard relocates within this landscape as a result of a long period of hard work and perseverance. It is also a comprehensive project. It's not the development of infrastructure, uh, putting up huge set of buildings, but it also encompasses few other features like provision of equipment, machinery, laboratory equipment, etc. And also a component on staff training. And also there is another uniqueness in the project is that this project is developed by single developer as a turnkey job, incorporating these various different aspects in addition to its engineering, architectural work, plus other aspects of the project are all handled by one single developer. But uniqueness of the project also is there, but I personally feel that uh, this project was also one of the most challenging projects in our, our country. One reason is that this project is sort of, uh, the, one of the main objectives of this project is to find a new home for the entire NDT study program, which is conducted by the Institute of Technology, University of Morocco. The Institute of Technology, University of Morotua, named ITUM, has finished the construction of its new location and already functions within the greenery of the Agama. And begins to shine its industrial wisdom upon the future of higher education at a broader level hereafter. The original history of the National Diploma of Technology, the NDT program, began in 1893 at the Salon Technical College in Maradana, then known as the Junior Technical Officers Course. And then it was shifted in 1960s to its location at Katwet. But bringing it out from Katubeda once again to a next, another location was also entirely a huge social challenge. Many of the Sri Lankans are aware of uh, the, the problems associated with this uh, whole thing of, uh, of National Diploma and Technology Program going, getting out from its premises, not from the University of Morocco, but from its uh, premises at Katubeda. So that was a challenge. And also this um, putting up a huge entire compound of higher education in an in a entirely new land uh, is itself was a challenge. It's an engineering and architectural challenge in one way. On the other hand, uh, finding necessary finances was a huge challenge for this whole project from the beginning itself and also admission of it. So all those challenges and all those uniqueness are put together into a super sort of activity which has produced. Final output is an entirely developed sort of new educational compound to house the Institute of Technology University of Morocco. itself is a feature and we wanted to have an iconic building and our architects came out with this uh, nice proposal and we also supported it, improved it and now we have this inverted new type uh, uh, building, an owl and a new iconic feature for the whole building compound. And in addition to that, uh, there are some other architectural features we have encompassed, even the, the huge multifunctional whole roof was a big debate at the time of construction. It was uh, earlier decided to have a flat roof, but we uh, wanted to have an architectural feature, 
our architects as well as the developer they all got together and came out with this uh, roof structure which is actually featuring some of the roofs of bullock carts in sri lanka those days and uh, we have sort of brought that architectural feature into the roof roof of our multifunctional home there are many such things like that we can tell one after the other but if i finish with one more item the entire window system you uh, people are very much familiar with the normal sort of standard type windows in the higher educational institutions or any other educational institution but you will find if you take a closer look at it the whole window system in this uh, uh, compound is is a novel feature which was very specially designed with a lot of wide aluminum sections and a small aluminum section put together in a comp compound form so there are such building features in this compound many other things like that we have taken a lot of effort to make sure that those things are done in a particular perfect manner with the support of the uh, the end, with the with the with the power and the ability available with the developer then uh, in addition to this uh, building features this entire compound comprises of many other uh, novel features as well uh, if i come to sort of electrical power system in this whole compound this is the first time in the sri lankan history where the bulk power supply is brought into a educational compound we have you know after bulk metering we have high tension power coming into us and we have three power zones with three uh, transformers of 1000 kva of our own we all in house you can't see it also from outside and uh, along with that we have coupled them to a 650 kva standby generator so this compound whole entire compound has three power zones with three transformers and three standby generators within seconds of any power failure the generators will switch on and we will never have long term sort of power cuts in this place because of this feature and uh, this is the first time that we have something like that in this place in sri lanka and also our, our sewerage system itself you now sewerage becomes a big problem in your residential facilities our sewerage system itself uh, is a new feature we have activated sludge type sewerage treatment plant which is the compound again also hidden you can't see it easily from outside and uh, it operates and we use even a fluent of the sewerage system to feed some of our trees which are left uh, after while we do the construction we left this place out. the small forested areas in the outdoor environment of this university receive their water from a new system created to clean wastewater and the road lamps obtain their electricity through solar systems attached to each lamp this project officially has three goals one is provision of the infrastructure this huge compound which uh, you will see in the visual is uh, the main goal of this project the putting up of a huge infrastructure facility which includes a big uh, administrative complex a huge academic complex and in addition to that administrative academic compound plus student village The new university premises of the ITUM comprises all the formal facilities of a modern university of our time. A gym and other novel features with brand new equipment.
It has a well-equipped theatre, and we have in this place uh, all those things and procurement of thousands of machinery and equipment needed for the entire compound was the second biggest goal and the challenge for the project administration. Laboratories are one of the main core facilities for conducting practicals needed for these explorations. The objective of producing qualified professionals for the civil engineering industry in this island is most dependent on the laboratory facilities. The third component of the project is also a very novel feature that in addition to the infrastructure, in addition to the equipment and machinery, we have also included the staff training component of the project uh, to have a third component as a training of staff of uh, the ITUEM to take up the new challenge when it is shifted to this new location. So we have these three official goals of this project and we happily completed these things in time. The director, the head of ITUM, is responsible for the five academic divisions and the administrative division, the finance division and the industrial training division. The academic divisions of the new location representing the fields of civil engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, mechanical engineering and maritime studies, polymer, textile and chemical engineering, and interdisciplinary studies. This subject teaches about the practical construction and maintenance of buildings, bridges, roads, railways, dams, water supply and waste disposal schemes, major and minor irrigation schemes, tunnels and powerhouses, runways, airports, harbours and coastal structure. A new curriculum was initiated from 2005 for Engineering Technology and Maritime Studies at this university. The Maritime Unit provides qualified professionals for the marine sector in this island through several subject divisions. The innovative electrical, electronic, telecommunication fields scrutinize their objectives in modern industry through a new corporate plan launched in 2001. The Division of Polymer and Chemical Engineering and Textile work according to their practical requirements with different courses of technology. The ultimate result? Competent professionals created by the ITUM. will be sent to various industries all over the island. The Divisional Head of Industrial Training is responsible in fulfilling this task. In the year 2000, ITUM has introduced the Division of Interdisciplinary Studies with English, Mathematics, computer science and aesthetics. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. To grow the NDT students resolve in dealing with practical problems. These additional skills are always useful in refining an educational system and recognized throughout the whole world. We 
argue, we discuss, we eventually decide immediately and go ahead with our work. And uh, therefore this project management of this project was also one of the uh, very important, respected features of the whole thing. I hope uh, as a project director that the, what we have produced during this last two years will, will become a sort of a national treasure for our country and to produce what we have received.